Welcome to Tuesdays with Tara. I'm Tara Abundance, and today I'm going to talk about presence and gratitude. So it just so happens my shirt says to do live in the moment. I did not plan that for today, but it just so happens that was the shirt I was wearing this morning. And then I came up with what I was going to talk about. What I like to share is some new awarenesses and new insights that I've received around what it means to be present and how it means to experience presence as gratitude or ingratitude or to use presence to find gratitude. So I've been in this gratitude seeds group where we plant a seed every night for what we would like to experience or see or manifest for the following day. In the morning, we do uh, just a list of our gratitudes. It might be from the, the previous day. It might be from what you've experienced that morning. And what I've noticed is that when I get myself very present and I breathe into my heart, I close my eyes and I just take deep breaths and I just check in with myself, it's easier for me to find gratitude. It means that I can be really clear about specific things I'm grateful for. Because what I've recognized is that the more I do gratitude work, the more I recognize that it has to be things that are in the moment, things that I'm actually experiencing right now. So one of the exercises that I just recently kind of figured out with a good friend of mine, Stephanie Besson, I mentioned her in one of my more recent videos. Stephanie and I were having a conversation about what it is that bothers us about certain questions and what it is that supports us about certain questions. And so I've noticed that in the past, when I would ask somebody a question, like, what do you want? I would ask that question. And if I heard the vo the phrase, I don't know, I would do a little bit of gaslighting. And I really just want to take it into this moment of recognizing that when I would do the gaslighting, it was obviously from a place that I thought was more supportive, but I would say things like, you know, you just don't realize, you know, or if you didn't know, then who does what I'm recognizing now is that when somebody says they don't know, maybe they just don't know. And sometimes people use, I don't know, as an excuse not to dig. And I recognize that. I understand that that might be the case sometimes. And so sometimes I like to push in a way that could be supportive. But today, these days, instead of asking the question, what do you want? I'm going to start asking the question, what do you know? So what does that even look like? What does that mean? So when I ask myself, Tara, what do you know? I have to get very present. I have to think, well, I know that I'm in my house. I know that my son's in the other room. I know that I'm doing Tuesdays with Tara, which is something that I love doing and enjoy doing. I love supporting my son. I know that my belly feels full because I had a good, nice lunch. I know that it's nice and beautiful outside. And so what I know in this moment helps me find things that I'm grateful for. Like I'm grateful for this beautiful day. I'm grateful for the opportunity to share things on Tuesdays with Tara. I'm so grateful to be able to spend time with my son. So when I'm present in the moment, it really gives me a moment of pause. It gives me a moment to really check in with myself. So instead of Tara, what do you want? I can ask myself, Tara, what do you know? And that might lead to what I want. Sometimes something might feel like it's missing. I may feel like I'm not getting enough time outside or I'm not exercising enough. So I may think to myself, what I know is I would love to exercise today. That would lead to, I want to exercise today. So when I ask myself, what do you know? It doesn't always have to be positive. It doesn't always have to be things that I'm experiencing that I'm grateful for. It can be things that I'm experiencing that I would like to change. As an example, I could ask myself, what do you know? And then I could say, hmm, I don't feel like I had, I woke up in a good mood this morning, or I was feeling really sick to my stomach last night. And I kind of still woke up feeling that way. And I would say, okay, well, I know that that's true in this moment. So what do I want? I want to feel better. And so instead of checking in or future tripping on what I want, 
I can really just be really present with what I want, what I desire for myself today, right now. And when somebody says, what are your plans for the future? I can say, I don't know, but what I do know is, and then list out the things that I know about right now. And then that may lead to, and I've got some goals or I've got some dreams or I've got some desires, some things that I really want to create or manifest into my life. But these are more like visions. I could hold the vision of, I want to do such and such with my job or my business. I want to manifest at least 10 clients for my CBD company, or I want to have more time to spend with my son. And so those could be visions. Those aren't necessarily dreams. Those could be goals, but really more than anything, it's a vision of what I think I want from this present state. But what I know is what I'm feeling right now. What I know is what I'm experiencing in this moment. And so if I'm wanting to experience something new, I've got to get present with what I'm feeling in the moment. So if I'm feeling sad or I'm feeling angry or I'm feeling frustrated or I'm feeling uncomfortable, I let myself feel that. I let myself say, I'm feeling sad or I'm feeling uncomfortable. And so then what do I know is I wish to feel something different. I wish to feel joyful. I wish to feel something more peaceful. And so what can I do to support myself in creating a more peaceful environment within my body, mind, and spirit might look like meditation, might look like EFT, might look like a focus wheel, might look like deep breathing, might look like take a bath, it might look like go outside and put my feet on the earth. So this leads to the last video that I did about self-care. So if you pair these two videos together and maybe watch this one and then go back and watch that self-care video again, once you get to the place of recognizing what you know in this moment, then you can jump to self-care. So if you're wanting to change what you're feeling in this moment, jump to self-care. If you're really enjoying what you're feeling in this moment, obviously you're doing some kind of self-care because you feel good. You feel like you can enjoy what your experience is right now. So today to do, live in the moment, be present, ask yourself, what do I know? And then build from there. Use that as your foundation for presence and then find the things that you're grateful for out of that list and then find the things that you need to work on or that you would like to do some self-care around out of that list and focus on that. That's what gets us to our future. That's what takes us to the things that we want to manifest into our reality. Instead of saying, I want a perfect life that where I'm happy and joyful all the time, or I want the, the car or the, the house or the partnership or the job. Uh, instead, get present, ask what do I know, do the work around whatever comes up around that. And that's what guides me to what it is that I want to manifest and create into my life, getting more clear about the things that I'm grateful for. And from gratitude launches the future. We launch our future from presence and gratitude. Please subscribe to my channel below and find me on all social media at Terabundance. And my website is terabundance.com. So thank you so much for joining me here on Tuesdays with Tara. Have a blessed and beautiful day. See you next week.